All right, so we've talked about the composition of functions where you're combining two functions, and many times you get, you know, just, you get this function in the end. Well, sometimes what they want to do is ask you what two functions would come up with that. And so it's called the reverse of the composition of functions, and that's what we want to look at today. So when we look at h of x in this example that I have in front of you, 1 over x squared, what two functions determine h of x? There's a couple ways to approach this. And primarily what I do is I look at where the x is located. And I say to myself, all right, in that spot, that's where a substitution was made. And so in looking at this, I want to be able to pull it apart into two things. The things that stand out to me in this particular one is I notice there's a 1 over and I notice there's an x squared. And so when I think about what two functions, that stands out to me as being, hey, all right, that x squared, that could be in the spot of the x. And what happened was the x squared just went in its spot. And so in pulling these apart, my hope is that it seems almost obvious to you but the trick is to look at where the x is located. And so what I would simply do is say, okay, well, f of x is going to equal this, and g of x is going to equal this, and it doesn't matter which one you label as which. Let's try another one. All right, if h of x equals x squared plus 5, what two functions determine h of x? Again, look at that x spot and say to yourself, wait a minute, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that with an x, and that's going to be one function. And the other function is just going to be what is in that spot. And so that would be my g of x, and then that would be your f of x. Let's try another one. Oops, I pulled it too far, sorry. If h of x equals x minus 2, quantity squared, plus 2 times x minus 2 plus 1, what two fun functions determine h of x? Again, what I want you to notice, okay, is in the spot where the x's are. Where that x minus 2 is, what could I put there instead? And again, that just begs you to put, okay, that's x squared. And you'll notice that it repeated. And that indicates that there was an x in both of those spots. But what happened was, in place of that x, we put another function. And so what would be that other function? Absolutely. And that's really a reverse of composition of functions. It's really not that difficult. I just want you to look for the repeat, or rather, where the x is located, and that will point you in the right direction. Hopefully, that helps.